In spring of 2013, Volvo Italia and the Plan Magazine launched the Switch to Pure Volvo Open Architecture Contest to showcase the new Volvo V60 plug-in diesel hybrid at undercover trade shows and open-air venues in Italy's public squares. Attracting over 150 entries from around the world, the winning entry was the Pure Tension Pavilion by Synthesis Design and Architecture. The entire pavilion assembles and demounts in less than one hour and fits in the trunk of the car. The Switch to Pure Volvo competition organized by uh, the plan on behalf of Volvo it was interesting to us in terms of the, the kind of questions and challenges that it, it raised. They required that the structure is something that was easily assemblable, easily dismountable and could travel with the car and was an iconic uh, structure that could really showcase the car. We saw this as the perfect opportunity to apply some of the research we've been doing into dynamic mesh relaxation and thinking about how we can look at fabric structure in terms of thinking of something that's lightweight, portable and easily collapsible. So the original idea of this was that the structure would wrap up and bundle into like a little package, like a laundry hamper, and just kind of pop open, which would have put us well out of budget. So we ended up moving towards a CNC bent aluminum frame. So it is slightly outside of the final shape it's going to take, but it gets tensioned into position by the skin. On my spare time, you know, I like to go backpacking and camping. So a lot of the, uh, the, you know, the stretch fabric aspects of it was something that actually was very attractive to me because it's something I was f so familiar with, that lightness and efficiency. And the, also the elegance that the combination of you know, the simplicity and sophistication conveys. Uh, we took that a step further and began thinking about it as a charging station for the car. We wanted it to actually be part integrated into the whole structure. That it's not just a plug-in uh, interface with the power, but it actually produces its own power. So when we saw this design, obviously, you know, there were a lot of things that we saw that fit together. After the winning of the competition, we went through a process of rationalizing the geometry to make it more buildable. Um, worked very closely with our structural engineers, Bureau Happolt, which are based in, here in Los Angeles and Culver City. And then we started working with Fabric Images, um, who are based in Chicago. The design idea behind it is this idea of pure attention. We weren't sure how we were going to do it, but we'd started. And we started figuring out what worked and what didn't. Where we're at right now with the frame is that uh, we have through bolt connections. The next step is to uh, drill out and countersink all the connections for sex bolts so it'd be flush connection, so there'd be nothing protruding. And eventually, between the seamstresses, between our CAD guys, between myself, we figured out how to do it. Ascent Solar provides us with these, which are flexible photovoltaic panels. So unlike normal photovoltaic panels, which are extremely rigid and extremely heavy, these are extremely light and flexible. Because of that constraint, we had to choose a lightweight, 70% open mesh. And what's interesting about uh, mesh relaxation techniques is they use the natural qualities of the material to create a shape. What's interesting about this structure is it takes the natural qualities of the Volvo and lets that inform the formal qualities of the structure itself. The entire pavilion, in terms of the skin, fits into a small box, whereas the perimeter frame, because it is a kind of slip-fit tube, like a tent, um, demounts and uh, will fit into the trunk of the Volvo. There is a positive side in that it will provide solar energy, but there's a negative side in that it heats the car. And just cooling the car to a comfortable temperature requires a lot of energy. So anything that could reduce the solar heating of the car while also providing the electricity that the car wants is a win-win situation. And also to do it in such an efficient way and in such a beautiful way. That is, you know, was something that our innovation team always looks for, and it was great to, that, you know, even though we had not found it ourselves, that we could support the uh, innovation process that could enhance our products and hopefully enhance the, uh, the world at large. 
The inner relationship of our structure and the car is something that kind of draw, drew attention to the car and also allowed you to uh, experience the car in a new way. I think what's really surprised me in this journey of producing this pavilion and winning this competition has been just how forward-thinking Volvo has been in terms of engaging us as designers and giving us the freedom to do what we're interested in and really pushing the limits of what our fabricators are able to do. And they've been very supportive of that and engaged with us in the entire design process in terms of producing something that we think is really an amazing concept that we hope can be applied towards uh, future products and uh, future opportunities.